Now, all parents want the best for their children, obviously, but when is the best too much? Well, this is Brogan Mackay, just 11 years old. Brogan is uh, dressed head to toe, pretty much, actually, mm. in designer gear. Uh, her parents have spent over £150,000 since she was born, making sure she's got the latest clothes and gadgets. So, is Brogan the most spoiled child in Britain? Take a look at this. Hi, my name is Brogan Mackay. Come on in. Welcome to every little girl's dream. These are my Jimmy Choo's. These cost £475. This cost £360. From designer outfits, handbags and high heels, the 11-year-old admits she's spoiled and loves it. My mum will say, oh, can you just wait a couple of weeks? We're going to hardly get any money. And I'll say, no, mum, please, please. When she gets bored of dressing up, her bedroom's kitted out for a 21st century princess with all the latest gadgets. But it doesn't end there. Brogan's been high maintenance since the age of three and regularly gets her hair highlighted, not to mention the nail extensions and fake tanning sessions. A self-confessed shopaholic, Brogan even has designer dolls at £400 a piece, as well as a pink credit card so she's never out of pocket. And of course, no pampered princess would be complete without her very own pocket pooch. Meet Barbie. Well, as you see, you're kind enough to invite us into the house. Let's have a chat to them now. Brogan is here with her mum, Alison, as well. Very good morning to you good both. Morning. How are you morning. doing? Good. I got, we got down really late last night, so thanks very much for coming in so early, all the way from Scotland. Brogan, let's have a chat to you first. So, so what is it about designer clothes? Why do you like them so much? I just like to be different from everybody else. Having all this designer stuff makes me feel different. Does it? Yeah. Now, let's have a look at what you're wearing today, because actually that jacket, which is very trendy, is not, it's a high street store, isn't yeah. it, which is good. But I just wonder if we can have a quick look at your shoes, which I'm already coveting because they're gorgeous. And actually, they're my size, so I might have to borrow them <laughs> afterwards. Um, but these are Jimmy Choo's, aren't they? How yeah. much do they cost you or your mum? Um, 475. Gosh, I mean, that's a huge amount of money, isn't it? Yeah. And, and do you think you'll be able to wear them for a long time? I mean, you're only 11. Your, your feet are probably going to grow, aren't I they? Know. Mm -hmm. so and I don't think, I think I'll grow. So how you're long making you... a pitch for a second-hand price, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alison, when did this all begin? Uh, what, when did you start buying your daughter so, much, so many lavish and luxury gifts and clothes? Um, really, from when she was born. Um, when she was first born, I was earning like £50 a week. That, like, I was training to be a hairdresser. And, like every week my fifty pound would buy like one item, it'd be like maybe one hat or one pair of shoes or I mean I said mum and dad at the time so I didn't really have any outgoing so all my money just went on broken and I mean, it just got worse and we understand <laughs> why you want to give your little girl the best you possibly can. Every, every mum watching this yeah. would feel the same this morning. But but why do you have to spend so much money on clothes? Because the high street clothes, the supermarket clothes, are, they're just as good, aren't yeah. they? And they're a fraction of, of the, the price. price. So why don't you do uh, that? Loads, loads of our stuff is high street store. Uh, okay, but loads you of it is. But she's got loads of designer as well. But I mean. We still go into Primark and all that. I mean, it, I know like loads of the. It's a real mixture, isn't it? I suppose. Look, things, I though. suppose it would be okay if, yeah. if if you were millionaires or you had uh -huh. so much money it didn't matter. But I suppose no. the situation is, you know, money like for many families across the UK is tight for you and your husband, isn't it? Yeah. So is this a, is this an expense you can justify, really? Well, I mean, what's different for us? Like we we stay in a flat um, mm. in Glasgow, and like our mortgage is really really cheap, whereas. Probably if we were to go and buy a house and we'd be like maybe £700, maybe a month, or we could never be able to do it. So I think we're lucky that way. We've not got. One day Brogan's going to have to sort of keep these standards up and these prices mm. up if she gets used to it now. Do you worry that she won't be able to? I mean, you're sort of preparing her for a life of, uh, yeah. of difficulty in that uh, way. Do you worry about that? Yeah. I, I mean, I've told her, I'm like, as soon as, do you know what I mean, you start wanting more and more stuff, you're going to need to get a mm. job. Who are your role models, Brogan? Um, I like Katie Price, but right now she's. Now why do you like Katie Price? What was uh -huh. about her that you think's great? Her lifestyle. She's got like everything she wants, and she gets everything she wants. Do you but think she works for it? Yeah. And and when you grow up, are you gonna work hard? I mean, or do you think that that, that you'll be able to kind of have all these beautiful things and and not have to do too much? Yeah. Well, I want to work really hard, um, and I want to earn quite a lot of money. Mm. So Do you want to be famous? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. I just um, would like to know that everybody like 
all over the world knew me. But do you, I mean, why, why do you need that, do you think? Do you, do you think you're not get, you don't get that from, from your family and from your friends? Why do you need everyone in the world to know who you are? <laughs> Sounds cool. The lifestyle. <laughs> Sounds like a cool idea. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, uh, we've had lots and lots of emails, Alison, uh, yeah. mums in particular who are watching who don't particularly understand, but, you know, everyone's each to their own. Uh, yeah. A lot of people saying, you know, you're growing up too young, Brogue. I mean, 11 years old, you, you'll, you'll be a teenager in a few years, and you'll really miss this time. Do you not have a concern about that, Alison, that, that Brogan is far too old for her years? She's, I mean, she's always been like that, even for young. She always, she was never really around kids. It was always like me, my mom, or my sister. Or, so she was always used to having, like, my, sister is old, my sister's 18 and my brother's 15, so she's been used to being with them all the time, like being older, and so I think she's just, and what do your Definitely mates not. make of it all? Just quickly, Brogan, what, what do your friends at school, I'm sure they're watching this morning, uh, do they think you call or, you know, some people pick on you a little bit because you've got all these gorgeous things? Not, oh. not really, because all my friends at school are really, really nice. Okay. But, um, if, like, sometimes, like, they do get jealous, but I'd say, like, it's okay because obviously you get the same as well, but mm -hmm. obviously not as much, but, like... Yeah. Okay. Well, we appreciate very you coming nice. on. Thanks very, very much for telling us your story. Very good, Alison. Thank you very much.